Lord be with you. Thank you for joining me today on Tuesday, the 27th of September, as we continue in the book of Ezra. Today we will have chapter 3 of Ezra. So let's hear God's word together and pray together. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Hear the word of the Lord from Ezra, the third chapter, verses 1 through 7, entitled, Rebuilding the Altar. When the seventh month came and the children of Israel were in the towns, the people gathered as one man in Jerusalem. Then arose Jeshua, son of Jozadak, with his fellow priest, and Zerubbabel, the son of Shatil, with his kinsmen, and they built the altar of the God of Israel to offer burnt offerings on it. As it is written in the law of Moses, the man of God, they set the altar in its place, for fear was on them because of the peoples of the lands, and they offered burnt offerings on it to the Lord, burnt offerings morning and evening. And they kept the feast of booths, as it is written, and offered the daily burnt offerings by number, according to the rule, as each day required. And after that, the regular burnt offerings, the offerings at the new moon, and at all the appointed feasts of the Lord, and the offerings of everyone who made a free will offering to the Lord. From the first day of the seventh month, they began to offer burnt offerings to the Lord. But the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. So they gave money to the masons and the carpenters and food, drink, and oil to the Sardinians and the Tyrians to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea, to Joppa, according to the grant that they had from Cyrus, king of Persia. So far the word of the Lord. Within about a year of Cyrus's decree, the Judeans are settling into their homeland and beginning the work on the altar to restore the sacrifices, showing their sincere desire for true worship and honoring their emperor's decree. As you offer daily sacrifices of thanks and praise to the Lord, request a deep and a lively sincerity for yourself, your family, and your congregation. The Lord sincerely receives your worship and request. He has promised to answer according to his word and to his goodwill and mercy. He has demonstrated in his Son, your Lord and Savior, your Redeemer, Jesus. We pray, grant me a sincere and thankful heart, dear Lord, that my hands, my mind, and my feet may carry your good and gracious will. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We continue in chapter 3 at verse 8, entitled, Rebuilding the Temple. Now in the second year after their coming to the house of God at Jerusalem, in the second month, Zerubbabel, the son of Shatil, and Jesh Jeshua, the son of Josedach, made a beginning together with the rest of their kinsmen, the priests and the Levites, and all who had come to Jerusalem from the captivity. They appointed the Levites from 20 years old and upward to supervise the work of the house of the Lord. And Jeshua, with his sons and his brothers, and Kedmil and his sons, the sons of Judah, together supervised the workmen in the house of God, along with the sons of Henadad and the Levites, their sons and brothers. And when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, the priests in their vestments came forward with trumpets, and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, Asaph, with symbols to praise the Lord according to the directions of David, king of Israel. And they sang responsively, praising and giving thanks to the Lord. For he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord, because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. But many of the priests and the Levites and heads of fathers' houses, old men who had seen the first house, wept with a loud voice when they saw the foundation of this house being laid, though many shouted aloud for joy, so that the people could not distinguish the sound of the joyful shout from the sound of the people's weeping. For the people shouted with a great shout, and the sound was heard far away. So far the word of the Lord. The service dedicating the foundation for the new temple stirs deep emotions for the Judeans because of the memory of their shortcomings and because they are eyewitnesses to God's renewed mercy for them. God's word of law and gospel will likewise move your heart. 
That, wo- the, that word is your focus for comfort, and his word is your focus for all hope. By the word, the Lord lays a foundation for new life and peace in your life. Let us pray. All I am, good Lord, belongs to you, including my tears and my shouts of joy. May I praise you in thought, in word, and deed. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Having heard the word of the Lord, we continue in prayer. On this 27th day of September, We pray for all Christian parents that they would model forgiveness and raise their children in the Christian faith. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. O Lord, you have called us to be a people of prayer. You have taught us to call you Father and promised to answer the prayers of your people mercifully. To this end, we come with the prayers, petitions, and supplications of your people in Jesus' name. Though your grace may seem slow, we trust, O Lord, that you will grant us all things needful in their proper time, just as you have brought forth your own Son in the fullness of time to be our Savior. Grant us patience and humility, that we may not despair or grow weary of waiting, but live by faith each day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O merciful Father, you have wounded your own Son to bring us the eternal healing of your love. Bless the sick and those who suffer, those wounded in body or mind and those dying, and all those we now name to you in our hearts. In your own time, grant to them healing according to your will and sustain them into the day of the resurrection of the body. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, O Lord, and whatever else you know we need, we pray you to grant us for the sake of the mercies and by the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We confess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We're bold to pray together as he has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.